Okay, welcome to the Yama 68, the 15.6 inch Libra laptop PCB3 walkthrough, which is the power board. Um, firstly, I must apologize for the uh, uh, resolution on this camera. It's the one that I took with me um, to, uh, uh, yeah, I think smaller than the one that I was borrowing from uh, Chris. So it's only 640 by 480, not 1280 by 720. So I'll do lots of zooming in. All right. So um, this is the uh, uh, schematic, um, which is divided into one, two, three, four, five separate areas. Um, this power board um, whew, yeah, thing. Okay. So we have a. BQ24193, which is a an on-the-go charger uh, chip. Um, this is very important because it's actually dual power. Um, uh, the on-the-go specification um, provides the means to reverse the power, um, and that's quite important because that's part of net the Irma 68 uh, computer card uh, power requirements. Is the power be reversible so that you can plug in on-the-go cables into it, and it will charge up from that or you can actually power the computer card from that. The previous chip that we found here, the uh, Linear Tech 4155 I think it, it is, neglected to be specific in its um, compliance with the specifications um, uh, on the on the go power thing. It, yeah, uh, pain in the neck so we had to do a complete redesign. Um, now all of these, well, I say all, most of these chips, what they do is the output from them is uh, um, actually the battery voltage. So they output typically, um, you know, uh, 3.8 to, to whatever it is, 4 point something volts. But we need a 5 volt output for various other things as well as the on the go uh, 5 volt power. So we've had to add this um, uh, TPS 63020 buck boost converter as well. Um, monster inductor there. I love those. They're really big. It's a one micro Henry. Um, it's sort of nine millimeters on a side by five millimeter high. Um, then we've got this um, uh, <laughs> number of Texas Instruments parts in here is enormous. Um, this is a BQ27542 um, which is a fuel gauge uh, measurement thing. The battery charger chips themselves don't contain this um, capability unless they're very very cheap and do it in a cheap and cheerful way so you have a, a sense resistor uh, where is it which is a 0 0.01 ohm uh, resistor put in uh, series with the battery and then you have to use differential pairs um, and an RC RC circuit to smooth the things out. Uh, differential pairs to the um, to thing and it measures the uh, uh, current uh, going through to the battery as well as measuring the uh, they, they might measure the voltage as well. Um, but basically, from that you can uh, you can do Coulomb counting. Yay! Um, as long as you get this um, thing uh, this this bit right. Um, what else have we got? Oh, become there is a. Um, uh, uh, open drain and uh, push-pull compliant um, uh, level converter chip. I thought that was just safer to use that. Oh, these chips, um, they're just they're, they're not designed to work together. Um, I'm really struggling to work out. It's one of the reasons why I think that all the, the, the different voltage levels of all of the um, uh, I squared C and uh, control lines. Um, so I may need some help from people there who are. Um, proper um, uh, engineers um, and then these are the uh, connectors that's the uh, this is from Moorcrafts that's from Moorcrafts that's a 1.25 millimeter that's 2.5 millimeter but they're right angle connectors um, which is quite important because we've only got six millimeters um, in height uh, power button that's a DC jack and that's a couple of LEDs to a uh, thing now um, doing to do so all very neat and tidy and now let's flip over to the uh, circuit board now the previous version of the circuit board was only this small so I've extended it by an additional uh, 45 millimeters I think it is oh hello <laughs> again <laughs> you appear in the background of the thing um, so uh, here is the uh, 
DC jack and the power switch, that's the, um, the battery connector. Those two on the side are the uh, right angle connectors. That's one for power and that's one to connect to PCB2. So this one goes to uh, PCB1, the main circuit board, and that one goes to PCB2 um, with the STM32F. So it is responsible for reading the, where are you? Um, I'm gonna be placing the Coulomb counter, the ba fuel, uh, you know, battery gauge there. Um, here's going to be the, um, this bit is for the uh, uh, battery char uh, charger um, circuit itself. And then the five volt converter thing will be go here with that monster conduct um, inductor is up there at the moment. I'm um, gonna move all those in. Now, so yeah, so this board is now five inches long, um, which is enormous and this hatched area says, please don't put any components in there. So it's all that bit there. Now, the reason why that's relevant is because we move over to here, and I remember there's a different set of keys and controls for this. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the 15 inch lap laptop, so 15 inch across the diagonal, um, 160 millimeters there. So you've got PCB1 with a computer card here, you've got PCB2 which is going to be the keyboard and the touch panel and then the cable from there to on the underside, I'll show you that in a minute, to there. This board used to be only that long, now it's extended to that, that long. Um, and um, uh, so, so uh, I think so. There's much more uh, um, the bigger size here for heat con conductant um, conductance for thermal uh, things, and the battery is here. All right, so that takes up that thing. It's a six millimeter by 160 by 130, something like that. Okay, so we're, I'm going to look at the screen and just hold the camera up here. We'll start zoom this in. Okay, so let me just turn it round. Okay, all right. So uh, there, you can see the. There, what is it? That one's the switch. Represent that cube. Represents the switch. That cube represents the um, uh, the DC jack. In let me move it over there. Yes, that's right. That's the DC jack. The thing. All right. This represents the battery connector. This represents, each of these represents the two connectors. Now, the thing is that, as you can see from the overlap of these two, all right, uh, let me try and get it round here. Okay, so um, you can see that this is actually sitting on top here by about one centimeter. Now, you, obviously this is a block, but you can't see that. This, this battery actually, it stops about here and then there's foil that tapers down. So this is actually perfectly acceptable. But the tabs on this battery are ginormous. They are literally about an inch wide and about half an inch long coming um, protruding out to around here. So we're gonna have to put clips on them to put the thing on, put a fuse in line with the thing um, and put it there. So it's gotta be quite careful about doing this and putting in the right amount of space and stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, now at this end, let me just move it up, uh, there we go, um, this is a separate part that supports this one here, this is a separate part that supports this end of the cable, and it slots into there and slots into there, uh, and then that, this bit here goes down to the bottom of the, of the, um, of the, uh, a casework, the, the the wooden panel, um, to make sure that the thing doesn't flop about, basically. Um, so the cables will run. Both of them will run from here, underneath here and down there underneath. Um, then up and over there, and one of them will plug into that. I think it is that, no, it's that one, that one. That's the same ma matching connector. So the cable's quite short. Um, the other one will keep going and will go into the, where are you? I think it's over here somewhere, the power cable from here, this one. So that provides the power to the main PCB. And then this second one connects from there to there because there are signals um, from this. Uh, uh, the STM32F is basically responsible for pulling, pulling the power. Um, on this 
Um, so uh, this uh, uh, it tells it what uh, what's going what's uh, what's supposed to. So anyway, it's um, quite. Uh, uh, quite uh, um, uh, quite a lot involved so and I can't put these three PCBs into production until I'm absolutely confident that I've got all of the connections correct from this new design of this board um, because I may have to add an extra line from here to there to tell this to switch off the 5 volt power which then switches off the 5 volt power on that pulls that because there's an enable line on the 5 volt uh, buck converter chip uh, which if it's not if it's not disabled it will continue to pipe power which may actually drain power from the battery so but it's this thing that is always on the STM32F is always on um, and that's what um, uh, monitors the battery and even even the switch on the side here when you press that it's actually a soft GPIO switch which tells the STM32F to pull the appropriate EOMA 68 reset line on here actually there over that so it's a triangle of things and I'm hoping like hell that there won't be any um, uh, ground loops um, we'll just have to see there wasn't a thing it was fine with the um, with the uh, demo boards, um, the pro first prototype, so I'm not anticipating that would be a, a serious um, issue. But we just have to see. It's so exciting. <sighs> Can't do everything. Let's do what we can. So, um, yeah, already just changing this board, there's been about four or five different changes on parts um, that are needed, especially one, two, three need to be redone. Um, uh, putting this board and changing it from the dog leg to a thing, there's got to be one, two, three, four parts need to be changed there. It's, yeah, I uh, think it's quite a lot that needs doing. Um, so we're going to do the micro desktop and get that, probably get that out to people first and then um, do the, get the, um, the laptop uh, out to people second. Thank you very much.